sole responsibility of the miracle worker is to accept the atonement for themselves. So you have accepted total responsibility for you, and there is nothing else when yes. you do. Yes, exactly. When you accept the atonement, or when we say correction, which is what complete forgiveness is, it's really atonement or correction, then just that little tweak in the mind is the solution for this egoic problem that has seemed to go on for millennia. It's just one little tweak. So simple that it was just overlooked uh, in, in the world. You know, all the busyness, all the attempts at healing bodies and fixing the environment or ending war, ending uh, hunger, and all the, all the causes of the world were all part of a distracted device. And that when you accept the atonement for yourself, then that brings a new perception and everything is healed in that perception. So it's not really a matter of time. And you don't have to look for 2012 to wonder uh, if there will be a big event that will occur that will light up humankind. Uh, you, don't, you don't look to the future. You know, there, there is no future in that perspective. And you do see that, that the mind is completely unified. So that there's not uh, one mind, like a, a Buddha mind, or a Jesus mind, or a, a Krishna mind, or a Ramana Maharshi mind that gets it, while the other minds are still asleep, you know. Uh, that's, that's the most beautiful experience, that's where the peace comes in, because then it's not about, oh, I have to still save somebody, and I've got it, but they don't. Maybe there's just mine. Yeah, it's just mine. From from of course miracle's perspective, everything is mine, fully mine and purely mine. If you listen to Eckhart Tolle, he's going to be speaking up at Noosa at the same time I'm up there, he'll, he'll use a different semantics. He'll say the mind is the problem. You know, you've got to let go of your mind. It's just different semantics for saying the, the same thing. So some of you might remember uh, the Matrix movie. They actually filmed the trilogy, you know, down here, and, and uh, at the end of the second movie, basically, that's when Neo goes to meet the architect, and there's all these TV screens uh, on the wall where the architect is, and you can see all these reactions uh, that Neo is having, almost like it's already played out. Every conceivable reaction you could ever have is all on the screen. They're called like an anomaly. It's like an anomaly where your mind has forgotten who it is and it's just playing out all these anomalies, trying to find itself in form. And it's, of course, not going to. And then the architect says, uh, there are two doors. The door on the right leads back to the source. And the door on the left leads back to the matrix. Now, if you ever get to this point in your mind, get offered this, this option, please go for the source, do <laughs> not say I will elect for the matrix. Uh, this was at the end of, of movie number two with the matrix and he looked, the door on the right was the source, the door on the left was the matrix and the only thing was Trinity, uh, his partner, was in the matrix and according to his perception Trinity was in trouble. Trinity need to be saved. Don't fall for this uh, <laughs> trick. If, uh, if you reach the door that leads to the source, and this voice says, you can choose the matrix if you want, and you hear this voice that says, oh, someone needs my help. Don't fall for that. <laughs> that's, that's how we have reincarnation. <laughs> Something yet to heal. Somebody yet to save. Uh, oh, there's a planet that still needs to be saved, or a, a person, or an animal, or a, a, an atmosphere of some planet. You know, don't fall for whatever it is. It reminds me of the Star Trek episode where they, they keep coming to this, they get into this time loop, and every time they get to this certain point, 
they, the ship blows up, and then they keep coming back to the same point, and then the ship blows up again, and then they come back again, and the ship blows up. So they start, they start planting seeds, like reminders, to, to help them remember what they're doing, so that somebody can catch the mistake. And actually, it's data in the Star Trek episode of the Next Generation that catches what's going on. They do something different, and the ship doesn't blow up. It's a very similar thing with time. So yeah, the good news is that the sole responsibility is to accept the atonement for yourself. Each of us, that's all it is. That's it. He says it twice. The sole, sole responsibility of the miracle worker, the sole responsibility of the teacher of God. He comes at it two different angles. Let's take something to